big data and advanced analytics has become a top of mind issue for business leaders around the world for very simple reasons. It is going to define the difference between winners and losers in most of our industries going forward. The ability to get incremental results out of the marketing dollars, the ability to get incremental uh, margin out of pricing and promotions decisions, the ability to get incremental uh, sales out of better supply chain and management decisions, all of those things are starting to define the gap between the winners and the losers. So the interest is very high. The challenge is figuring out how to start and how to really get after these ideas and to turn them from something more than great dinner party conversation or great uh, industry conference conversation and instead turn them into things companies are, are acting on every single day. Well, we really see three big challenges that players face when they try to get into uh, this in the, f in the first place. The first one is figuring out what data they actually want to use. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of data that is generated internally, customer transaction data, internal supply chain data, lots of performance data across the company. Uh, just handling that alone is a big challenge for most companies, but that's not where all the value can be created. We see real value in understanding what other data sources are available and bringing external data into play, whether that's weather and climate data, whether that is traffic pattern data, whether that is competitive data to understand what other prices are being offered in the market. Really determining which data to use, how to source it, how to get it together into an integrated form that can be used across the company is the first challenge. The second challenge then is the analytics themselves. This is a highly math-intensive analytic modeling exercise. Um, getting that right, getting the right skills and capabilities, getting people who really know how to use the latest mathematical techniques, the latest statistical methodology to get inside that data and find the, the real uh, nuggets of gold uh, is the, the second major challenge. The third one, and probably the hardest of all, is to take those insights and use them to transform the way the business operates. It does no good whatsoever to actually draw insights out of the data if you're not going to change the business decisions you make, if you're not going to change the way managers operate on a day-to-day -day basis. We've seen many examples of companies that accumulate a big pile of data and don't do more, and that means all they have is a big pile of data. If you're not willing to commit to getting all three steps right, the right data, the right modeling capability, and the right transformational methods to have your people act differently and make decisions differently, then don't start the journey. You certainly do need to start with a sense as to what problem you're trying to solve. Uh, otherwise, you can go on a mindless exploration of a big mountain of data and hope that eventually you find something in there. Uh, and we've worked with a number of clients where we've come in after they've spent six months, 12 months, 18 months burrowing away in the data hoping that it would magically uh, spit something out that they could use. And in most cases, it doesn't. In most cases, you do need to have a sense of what you're trying to achieve and then find the data that will help you get there. Find the analytics that will, will pull those insights out of the data, identify the people you want, the behaviors you want, the transactions you want in order to make things work. <laughs> The toughest part of all is the transformation capabilities, the ability to take a bunch of people who have been operating in the same way for many, many years in the industry and have them understand that they now need to do things differently. That's a real change management challenge. In many cases, you'll be able to take the existing people and train them in new methods and new processes and new skills. In some cases, you won't. You'll need to supplement that group with new people, people who have grown up in a different environment or people who have a different way of thinking about the business. But again, unless you're willing to change the way you make decisions and the way you implement new plans in the business, all of the insight out of the data won't, won't solve anything.